So, Big Ocean's Instagram gets hacked. I mean, who knew that a group with such huge talent would also be victim to the legendary art of online ninjutsu? Clearly, someone thought they could surf the web like a pro and turned out to be more like a toddler with training wheels. I can just picture hackers targeting their Insta like they're some goldfish in a sea of piranhas. Good job, Internet. You have to admire the sheer audacity of hackers. Swiping the social media account of a group that can potentially make you scream, take my money with just one note. It's almost like trying to steal a fancy car, but instead you get a bicycle with a flat tire. As these hackers mockingly posted their nonsense, I couldn't help but wonder, do they even listen to Big Ocean? Talk about a market crash. And while Big Ocean was probably busy plotting their strategy of epic comebacks, or maybe panic Googling how to recover hacked Instagram, we, the audience, were sitting back, popcorn in hand, scrolling through the chaos. Oh look, we thought, a hacker's masterpiece featuring Big Ocean in the wild. It was less a thriller and more a comedic drama. Someone should have gotten an Oscar for best original screenplay. I mean, the irony here is spicy. They say that when you fall off the horse, you should get right back on. But no one mentioned the horse can be a seasoned hacker with a side of online chaos. Big Ocean must have felt like they were starring in their own episode of a reality show titled Hacked and Confused. Expecting a drama series instead, we got a mockumentary. Bravo, hackers. Your comedic timing is impeccable. As the news spread, it became clear that the real winners here were the meme creators who instantly jumped at the chance to make their followers laugh. Big Ocean? Pfft. Who needs them when you can meme and retweet? Hacking's essentially become a new form of comedy. I mean, if there's one thing that brings people together, it's the ability to laugh at someone else's misfortune. Am I right? Fast forward, and the entire K-pop world was tossing their phone in disgust while frantically resetting passwords. I can just hear the mass groan of not again echoed across the fandom. It's like playing Jenga with your emotional investment. Every time you try to rebuild, the hackers just pull out another block and watch you falter. K-pop fandoms really do deserve medals for surviving this digital roller coaster. Now, here's a thought. How do we feel about hackers scuttling about like roaches at a party? Do we laugh because it's absurd? Do we cry because our favorite group's chaotic moments are serving comedy gold? In the midst of the cyber chaos, let's hear it from you. What's your take? Are hackers the new comedians? Or is this just another day in the K-pop universe? Like and subscribe, please.